Eric, Governor Otter wanted a first-hand look at Idaho's wildfires, so today he took a helicopter tour. Yeah, that chopper flew over Pine and Stanley to check out both the Trinity Ridge fire and the Halstead fire. Jennifer Awe continues tonight's team coverage. Michelle Ruland, there are a lot of people keeping a close eye on the wildfires right now. And Governor Butch Otter is definitely one of them. He called the smoke and fires massive. But at the same time, he's confident crews are headed in the right direction in terms of fighting the fires and protecting people's homes, including his own. In a Black Hawk helicopter, Governor Butch Otter and the director of Idaho's Bureau of Homeland Security took off from Gowan Field off to the towns of Pine and Stanley. It, it's more massive than you can imagine standing on the ground and watching the smoke uh, climb into the air. It was Governor Butch Otter who requested the Idaho National Guard lend an extra helping hand to fire crews. Now soldiers are manning security checkpoints and medevac helicopters on the Trinity Ridge fire. All's going well. Soldiers are a uh, very positive attitude and are just thankful uh, that they can help the state during this emergency situation. The governor is also personally affected by the fire as he owns a cabin in Pine. My wife and I were up at our cabin in Pine uh, for three days, and there were a lot of things that we should have done a long time ago, uh, like move all the firewood off the back porch. He says he, along with many other homeowners there, spent the days cutting down trees and bushes, creating a defensible space around his house. Right now, more helicopters and other devices are also being used to fight the flames and protect the homes. Fire experts say a major challenge is dealing with the spot fires, mostly caused from the types of trees burning. Uh, embers um, in the air, and then the wind catches them and carries them over into green receptive unburned fuels. So those spot fires are a huge concern for us. Firefighters say their crews are planning to start backburning the area to prevent those spot fires. Right now, fire experts are still estimating that crews will be fighting the fire until October. Another community meeting on the fire will take place tomorrow night at 6 in Idaho City. Live in the studio, I'm Jennifer Off, Fox 9 on your side.